In this video, we are going to create this flyer using Pixel Lab. The first thing is to delete the default text. So go to this place, this A, click on A and delete the text. Now we need to select our background. Go to this part of your design, this one. So click that on Pixel Lab. The next thing is to select color. After selecting color, it will bring something like this color or gradient. So we are using a plain color for our background, which is white. It is our dominant color. White is our dominant color. We are using red and black as well for this design. These are basic colors. Select this one. Click on it. Once you click on it, you have the opportunity to import anything you want to import. Now we are importing our van that we have downloaded. I'll provide a link for you to download it as well. This is the van we are using as our major image in this design. Now, if you notice it, it has black, it has red, it has white. That is why I'm using black and red for this design. If you know that the color for the business is not red and white, you need to get a better image for your design. Image that has a color you want to use in your design. Now, the color of your image, that is number one lesson in this basic tutorial. Color of your image must go with the color of your text. Don't use an image with black and red and then you use image with something that is totally different from it. You need to limit your color selection to three. Dominant color, accent, and text color. So now, let's make our image appear in the appropriate perspective. Go to rotation, rotate. So I'm using 100. Let me use 100. Okay. So at an angle of minus 100, you put it where you want it to be. Now let's go to shape. This is shape in Pixel Lab. Select shape and then create your shape. Make it as wide as you want and long as you want. Now I will make the color black. We are using black. You know a road. Road is black. So rotation now. Go to rotate. Here is rotate. Sorry. So scroll to rotate and click on rotate. Once you click on rotate, you can now rotate it to where you want it to go. So I'll be using minus 10 here. Does minus 10 work? Yes. Now, after placing it on the image, select to back. See design as if you are drawing. See it as if you are drawing on a paper. So now we draw our our road black. So it remains the, the white uh, broken lines that will be on the road. So also, you can select that image itself, that shape. You can copy it for you to have the same perspective and all of that. So you reduce the size of it to what you want. Can you see? Using your finger. Now we change the color to white. After changing it to white, you take it using your position. Use position to move it. Okay, it is too white. Let's reduce it a bit. And then place it here. Okay, you have made the first one. Copy that same white shape. Copy it, then use your position to move it. Now our van, we need to take it to the front so that the image of that shape will be at the base of it. So now copy the next white shape you want to use. Let's make it. I have told you earlier, let's see this as if we are drawing. Now we need to give our van a shadow, a shadow. So you go to shadow. This is shadow. Click on shadow, activate it. Then you adjust the offset X and offset Y. So I want the light direction to be from the right. So the shadow will be at the left. Now that you set your shadow, you need to adjust the blur radius. You see, if you move your blur radius, it will be blur. If you move it to the left, it will be very sharp. So we need to make it blur a bit. Then the color, the color is black, but the black is too thick. So click on this plus button. Once you click on this plus button, you can then adjust the lightness or darkness of the black. So here is where you are going to move your color to this part. You move this one to this place. So now let's move it now, move it. So it's okay like this. Then click okay. Can you see it looks like a shadow now? Now that we've draw and add our van that is delivering this, we need to start creating the test for our major design. But before that, I'll input the logo of the business. This is just 
a fictional design. So let's bring it in. Once you click on this place, you can now click on import. Click on import and then bring in, you will have downloaded it. I'll provide link for you to download it in the description box. So click on this logo. It is in blue. So we need to change the color. So you go to color. Go to color, select color, then you activate, enable the color. Now you can switch to where you want. Do we want it to be black? Do we want it to be red? So we want our logo to be in red, but the red is what we've used in our... So you can pick the color from the box too, but this is the red. It is available for us to use. So the logo will be somewhere here. Okay, now let's write the name of the business. Click on test and edit the test. So now, open logistics. Click OK. The next thing is to select your fonts. Go to fonts. Select fonts and and then you go to my fonts. You must have installed your fonts. So go to my fonts. My fonts rather. So you select the Montserrat. You want to use Montserrat. Let me use Montserrat board as well. Okay. Adjust it. Adjust it and change the color. Let's change the color and then adjust it. Let's use black for this. Adjust the size. Bring it exactly where you want to be. Want it to be. So you can use your position. Your position to make it look right. So the logistic we can add a little shape to the back of it to make it stand out from the name of the brand. So you take it to back and change the color. So now, bring it to the right place and you adjust the size of After adjusting that, you can adjust the name also. So, the color of the logistic in the name can be also white, can be white. So, here you need to move the cursor. Here, can you see? You move that cursor to the left so that it will be only logistic in the bracket. Now, you can then click on white so that Logistic only will change the color. Now, this is what we have gotten. Then we need to make our normal test for the design. Okay, let me just make a shape, a rectangle shape. Then we need to rotate. Let's make it red, okay? Let's make it red. We are using black, red, and white in this design. So let's use this our red. Then we need to rotate. Go to rotate and rotate it to the angle you want it to be. I think we are using minus 10 for the design. So you move it here. Now you need to write your test for the major thing you are telling people about your business. So I've typed that, enjoy swift delivery. So this is a delivery flyer. We we'll bring it here, go to rotate. This one also will be in minus 10. Select rotate, just as we've done earlier. And then make it minus 10. Now that we have gotten it here, we need to change the font. Go to font. Once you select font, go to my font. Select Montserrat Extra Bold. Another rule is that you should not use more than three fonts. More than three colors must not be used. More than three fonts must not be used. So the color of our font, let's make it white, but the enjoy will be in black. So just like I've explained earlier, make your cursor appear on the text you want to change its color. So we make that one black, make the rest white, and we are making width also black. So now this is it. Now you can select the shape to give your width a white background also. So click on the shape and click on copy. Once you click on copy, you can now bring it here and adjust the height of it. So bring it here and then go to color. Change the color to white. Bring your text to the front. Can you see? So our design is almost done. You can then add necessary details like your contact and your address or any other thing you want to appear. You want it to have. Now, I'm going to use this same text, but I will change the font size or font type. So copy the text so that it will be in the same dimension, edit it, and write your contact 090 0399 Click OK. You can pin your elements down so that they won't be disturbed. So click on every of the elements so that your finger will not displace where they are. So now we bring our contact downward. We need to change the color. Let's make it black so that people can see it very well. So the size must be adjusted to what you have or what you need to do. The size of the test needs to be adjusted. So you can now, now adjust it. 
Let's see the size I just set it to 20, okay? You can still make it 25. Okay. Now, the next thing is to add your contact us. Contact us. You can adjust the size of this first. Contact us. So, I'll do that quickly. Contact us and email. So, now, the font can still be retained. For, for the contact us, let's make, write the contact us first. That one needs to be changed. The font change the font. Okay, let me use one of the recent font I've used. On Sarat Italic. So now this contact us, you change the size. Go to size, change the size. Twelve will be okay. Twelve will be okay. So we can add a frame or background to it. Go to background. Can you see what I click? Click on background. And then you can give it a background. Okay. Our text is in black, or let's make it white. Then we make our background black. So I've select black. You can change the radius to something around five or six. So now the color of the text, let's make it white so that it will appear. Can you see? Contact us. The bottom padding is too small. So let's take it back. Okay. It is okay like that. Then you can bring down your contact a bit for it to have a white space in between. If you want to add your email, you can click on contact us, copy it, edit, add your email, opedgedelivery at gmail.com. Bring it down as well. So you can now make it color black and then remove the background. Color black, go to background and take out. Can you see? This is a simple design you can make with your Pixel Lab and get paid for it. So once you want to save your design, you just click on this part of your Pixel Lab, click on it, then you click on Save as Image. Click on Save as Image. Once you click on Save as Image, you need to change from default to highest possible dimension. So very high, Ultra. Then you select Save to Diaries. 